This is a prison escape simulator. At least I think it is. Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to Back to the Dawn. This game reminds me a lot of The Escapist with a little bit of like Prison Architect in it, but also Fallout and other RPG type games with some Star Wars sprinkled in. All these uh, creatures you see at the bottom are animals that kind of represent the different creatures and species and races and other things in Star Wars fighting against, of course, the Empire as the Resistance. You'll see what I mean in a minute. There's a lot of different things here, but when I got an email on this game just a little bit ago, I checked it out and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this game, but I loved what I saw. And so the art style, music, and other things coming together with a political thriller about corruption and, of course, people trying to take political prisoners to try to, you know, take over both for financial and for power uh, gains in the city. And it's going to be quite interesting. Uh, maybe a little bit of a mafia type game too. But anyway, welcome aboard. This game out now on Steam for demo and of course coming soon. Let's take our first look at it. If you guys want to see more, make sure you go ahead and click or tap, blow up and destroy the like button. Welcome again to all the new subscribers and thanks again for supporting the channel by becoming members with the link down below. We can play as Fox Thomas or Black Panther Bob, and I think actually we can play as Bob only after we beat the demo as Thomas. And of course, with it being a demo, it's going to be a little bit shorter than uh, the usual full game. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and be a, uh, I guess, an undercover investigator or whatnot, or you know, like a, a journalist who kind of does some undercover stories. And uh, also, Black Panther Bob is a, uh, he's a detective, for the criminal underground and such. He he spies on them and whatnot, infiltrates the prison for a top secret mission, that kind of thing. But Let's play as the uh, little journalist here. We could be a broadcast journalist, a, uh, another undercover tier, or the war correspondent tier, which all give us different abilities and such inside the prison. So yeah, playing out a little bit like an RPG. The ability to negotiate or be a craftsman or medicine, as well as other things for uh, jail smarts, or in this case, agility or strength. I think we'll be undercover. So let's go ahead and do that. It'll give us two extra pocket slots and a violation item carry plus 20. I don't, I don't know what that means yet, but I guess we'll see. Let's jump in. If it's the law of the jungle in this city, then how are we any different from wild animals? Love the music, dude. Dear viewers, I'm here at Lame Leg River near the Black Marsh Chemical Plant in Skid Road. As you can see, the river is purple and also has a very pungent odor. I'm with one of the residents of the riverbank. Let's hear his thought on the matter. My thoughts? The damn chemical plant opened less than two years ago and it's already devastated the surrounding area. Those heartless SOBs must have dumped sewage into the river at night. Now the fish are dead. It's messed up. I just smell the stench. So kids are sick. So many kids are sick and they can't stop coughing and have rashes all over their bodies. And have you informed the authorities such as the Environmental Protection Agency or City Hall? Of course. And they're useless. None of them want to take responsibility. I heard the mayor's nephew has shares in the plant. Oh, they're all in on it together. Ah, oh, well, there's your corruption. Oh, they see us poor people in Skid Road as less than nothing. Viewers, it's a tragic tragic situation here result of a legal something or other and the inaction of the authorities due to the mayor will continue to investigate the story so stay tuned for our follow-up report i'm thomas the fox woodpecker tv reporting live from excellent interview your reputation is well deserved well, i'm sure you didn't ask me here to watch a video with you mr campaign manager indeed not we're both busy men i'll get straight to the point as you know, the mayor's four-year term is almost up, and the election's just around the corner. He's seeking re-election and has hired me, Angelo, as his campaign ma manager. Ah, the mayor's asked the eraser for help. He must be desperate. The eraser? Oh, yeah. Ah, that's just baseless slander. I'm a serious social activist. Now, let's get back to the point. Cards on the table. The mayor does indeed have a certain relative who holds shares in the plant but the mayor wasn't aware of the fact and no so-called power for money deal ever took place but your interview may cause some more unsophisticated citizens to misunderstand the situation so i hope you'll reconsider your follow-up report to avoid further misunderstanding i'll find out the truth what a great journalist 
I admire your passion for your work. But there's more to life than work. Far more. What are you trying to say? A uh, little birdie told me you're still renting some flea bag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. And no friends to speak of, other than that lawyer you used to go to school with. Your aggressive reporting always gets you in trouble. He's the one who has to clean up your mess. You've clearly done your research on me. Why, you flatter me. I'm just trying to make a point. We both find ourselves in situations that are less than ideal. We can help each other. Knuckles, the briefcase. Oh, hello. What's this? Are you trying to buy me? Well, you got me wrong. I simply want you to join our campaign staff as head of the publicity. And this is your fee. Someone of your talent working as a TV reporter. Such a waste. I want to give you an opportunity. So will you join us or carry on with your thankless reporting? You're a smart fox. I'm sure you'll make the right choice. Take the money or decline? Well, I can already tell you if we take the money, it'll basically just bring us right back to the uh, main menu. So let's decline and go to jail. You'll see what happens. Put your money away. I'm not for sale. Oh, how unfortunate. Well, since you're so determined to be stubborn, you leave me no other choice. Is the eraser about to show his true colors? You can't buy me, so you have to resort to threats? Are you looking for the chance to erase me as well? No way. You're the hotshot who broke the contamination story. If you were to disappear, it would be a major headache for me. After all, the public do love to engage in wild speculation. I'm glad to hear that. If there's nothing else, I'll be going. And uh, I promise, you'll see a follow-up report real soon. Take care. Have a nice day. Yeah. You'll regret your foolishness. Ah, uh, I love the cars. Love the art style. Not love of the police. I'm Sergeant Norman, and this is my precinct. Is this your car? Yes. Is there a problem, officer? Uh, we received an anonymous tip that a car contains a legal substance, and we're here to check. Kyle, check up front. Eric, move your ass. Turn the trunk inside out. Sir, there must be a mistake. That's for us to determine. You just sit tight. Huh? Sarge, I found it. He was hiding something. And it looks like grade A stuff. What? I don't know anything about that. Shut your mouth. Save it for the station. Wow, a setup. What a great day. This calls for another drink. Damn, Angelo. Prominent reporter sentenced to prison. Oh, great. Three years in prison and fined $50,000. Great. The election is coming. Damn, that music is so good. Olderton Prison, cell block A. 21 days until mayoral election. Well, now we're in jail. Wonderful. All these creatures do remind me of Star Wars. Oh, look, a platypus. What's up, bro? Stand at attention. Listen good, fish. From now on, you're inmate 1220. I'm Captain Bruce, and my words are the law. You will obey. You understand? I understand. What? Speak up. I can't hear you. I understand. Good. Now get your ass to cell three and make it snappy. Here it is, fish. Your new home. Before you go in, one last thing. 
Headcount's in the lobby at 8. You better not be late. Get out of my sight. Ah, <sighs> wonderful. Oh, that guy talks a lot. But now's not the time to waste energy getting mad at him. It's been a week since my conviction and I haven't met with my lawyer. Oh, Reed is his name. I don't know how to appeal the... How the appeal is progressing. I need to contact him ASAP. Ask the prisoners. They should know how to contact the outside. Price of justice. So that must be our friend that uh, the... Um, the guy, the eraser, talked about uh, the, the friend that we had the, who's now attorney. We had 100 smarts for doing this. Ask your cellmate how to contact the outside. Wow, we got to worry about gangs in this prison, too? Bigfoot gang, Sharp Tooth gang, and uh, Black Claw gang, and then Gucci gang. Wait, what? Wow, okay, so there's... Whoa, this is interesting. Wow, there's a hell of a lot of people that we've already met or know. So we got a relationship with everybody? Damn, that, that is that is really crazy. You can see who's in each gang, your relationship with them, what they do, and uh, what they can do for you if you befriend them. <laughs> Doge. Okay, let's see. Skills. Wow, we actually we can unlock skills. I, I didn't even get a chance to look at all this, but we have combat skills. So there is combat in the game. Creativity, so crafting. Wisdom, which is probably like, uh, I don't know, getting certain bonuses for Jedi mind tricks, etc, etc. And then knowledge, which may be further unlocks recipes for crafting. Badass. Uh, tells us how long we've been in jail. What's in our pockets? A cookie, caramel bars, demo paper crane. Okay. Oh, wait, what? You have no idea how it ended up in your pocket, but you have a vague feeling it would make an amazing gift. Oh. Must be a little bonus item. That we can give to other uh, creatures here. Sam, are you a donkey? Hi, I'm Thomas, your new cellmate. Oh, hi. I was reading a letter from my girlfriend. I'm Sam. My nickname's Ratchet. I was a mechanic on the outside. I work in TV. Hey, no wonder you look familiar. I may have seen your show. Ask to how, how to contact the outside. Sam, is there a way to contact the outside? I need to talk to my lawyer. Of course, this is a modern prison. You can write a letter like me, or if you're in a hurry, there's a payphone by the lobby. You can try after a headcount, but there's usually a line. A phone. That's great. I'll call after headcount. All right, good. Oh, we got some crafting we can do here. This table looks older than me, but I guess beggars can't be choosers in this place. Maybe I can use it as a simple workbench. A storage cupboard. Looks like I have my own space. There seems to be a piece of paper on top. Prison schedule. This is exactly what I need right now. Oh, good. The toilet sink combo looks quite advanced. The hope the water doesn't overflow from the sink when the toilet's blocked. Oh, a little foreshadowing, possibly. And tips on everything. Wow. I should go to headcount. Headcount's not for another 40 minutes, though. Uh, looks like I made it in time. Oh, we have red uniforms, orange, and blue. Are these different gangs or... Po oh, maybe different cell blocks. That's my, That might be what it is. All of the people we just saw were in orange, so... Oh, here it is. Cell block B, cell block A. But there's three colors. Attention! Settle down. All of you, the head count is starting. Counts heads. One, two, three. That's 44 of 47. Three, in three inmates are absent. Uh-oh. Two in the infirmary, one in segregation. That's all. Listen up. Today's the first of the month, which means some more people like you have joined. I'll warn you now, do not try to stand out from the crowd. Try to be a smart ass in my domain, and I'll show you no mercy. Now, let's get down to business. All you newcomers, listen, and listen good. Today's announcements. To enable lazy maggots to earn your keep, prison officer oh, offers work assignments. There's vacancies in the laundry room for now, so any new in inmates who want to earn some money should apply to me. Don't be choosy about your job. If you don't want to do it, someone else will. 
Okay, so we gotta find him. Not interested, I wanna go to the kitchen, not gonna be your slave, we want higher wages. Hey, shut the hell up. I don't have time to listen to your whining. Dismissed. All right, we gotta find Bruce. We're gonna need to earn some money, I'm sure. Prison work, I do need some cash. I only have a few coins left in my pocket. Top priority right now is to call Reed. Probably waiting to hear from me. Okay. Give your lawyer Reed a call in the main building lobby. Wow, this guy's name is literally Rudolph and he's a reindeer. Imagine that. Come on, it's been so long. Did you show my script to the director or not? What? What do you mean you didn't get a chance? You're his assistant. Do you have any idea how important the script is to me? My entire comeback is riding on it. Seriously, can you just get it together? Don't forget who helped you when you were at the bottom. He's on the phone. Persuade him to leave. Pay him to go or cancel. Ah, we'll wait. Alright. So I think we can chat with pretty much anybody in order to try to make friends and find out stuff about them. Let's talk to Bruce. At attention. What is it? Ask about work. Oh, you want to work? Good. Inmates should keep busy. I have some good news. Right now you can apply to work in the laundry room. Good without, uh, without good conduct credits. This is a special privilege for a new fish like you. If you're interested, fill out the form. Oh, we can work on the roof site, which is under construction. Oh, I see. This must be uh, further things we can do in the future under the uh, full version of the game. Increase the number of phone calls you can make per day to three. Change your cellmate. Move to a single cell on the second floor. Ooh. Okay. We'll come back and apply here later. Who is this? Stay right there where you... Wait, stay right where you are. Croak. Let's be friends. You better stay away from me. Why? Is this your territory? No, it's for your own safety. What do you mean? When you see the color of my skin, do you know what it means? It means I'm poisonous. Highly poisonous. Oh, he's a poisonous frog. Uh, if you have a... If you have a cut and it so much as rubs against me, you'll be heading straight for the infirmary. If that happens, I'll have to explain to the guards that you brought it on yourself. Oh, some of my saliva seems to have splashed on your nose. You befriended Gray the Tree Frog. His report will help you. Ah, so now we know all sorts of different things about these inmates and how they can help us. So the giraffe, probably some stuff about him. Too bad his name isn't Jeffrey from Toys R Us. So everybody here has got some sort of special thing to them. Something we need to learn about and or some way that they can help us. Boy, that koala looks like he's really not looking not looking good. His name is Kevin. All right, let's go upstairs. I don't know if that guy was off the phone yet, but let's just look around a little bit. Ooh, what does this mean? Camera. There's cameras here. Your every move is being watched. Lunchtime is at noon. Cupboard is locked, but it's just a pin tumbler lock. Shouldn't be hard to open. Oh, maybe we can make a lock pick. I need a lock pick to open it. Okay. So now we have a new quest to make a lock pick, which we could probably do if we find some materials and go back to our uh, our cell. Look at look at the shining on the floor. By the way, it looks really good, man. All these little extra details, like you can see shining on the on the floor like that. Looks like they're playing Scrabble or something. Looks like there's coffee. Uh, read the sign. TV room. Read the high sign. Open at 20 every day. Movies on Mondays, Thursdays, and basketball on Sundays. So tonight is movie night, okay? Uh, the Corleone family, based on the acclaimed novel. Oh, yeah. So we're talking about... Uh, the Godfather. Magnetic lock, okay. And that one only unlocks at night. Okay, so we have more prisoners to chat with. So everyone will basically be like the frog. We gotta find out uh, something about them. Might be able to do business deals with them. 
Might be able to get materials from them, do quests for them to, in, in exchange for something else. Okay. Well, we don't have a lot of time until lunch, so let's get moving. Is it actually real time? It actually may be. Giving us plenty of time to walk around. Might be also ways to skip uh, lunch too. Or to lunch. Prison schedule. Uh, morning head count. Lunch at 12 to 1300. Recreation at 1300. Dinner at 1730. Bathroom opens at 1800. And lockdown at 22. No noise is allowed in the cell during lockdown. Okay. Oh, is that a bear? Hell no. My arch nemesis. What are you guys doing? Uh, asking Raphael to negotiate with Bigfoot Gang was nothing but a waste of time. Those guys wanted the kitchen all to themselves right from the start. Oh. So a gang has quartered to the, uh, the work at the uh, kitchen. If you ask me, we should set fire to their storehouse and show them who's business. Who means... Whoa, whoa he's mad. Calm down. Not time to go to war with them yet. Oh, God. Is there going to be, like, a prison riot? You got to be kidding me. I don't want to forget about the sharp tooth gang. Alex isn't stupid. He would—he could be waiting for us to wipe each other out so he can just wade in the... and take the spoils. Personal? He doesn't reply. You just ignore me. I guess my reputation isn't high enough. Oh, okay. So we got to worry about our prison reputation. We got what is all this stuff? We got stamina. Most actions require stamina. Focus. One focus point is automatically restored every 60 minutes. Wow, it's actually real in-game time. That's badass, dude. A real-time prison simulator. And I assume there's going to be an escape because I mean, come on. What are we going to do? Talk to all these people and just like serve our time? Like, we're in here for some pretty serious stuff, so it's not going to be like a couple of days or a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Well, let's go back down and see if we can find out what's going on with the phone. Oh, he's still on the phone? Um, let's talk with these guys. I tell you, if someone could give me a cold beer right now, I'd be willing to go to seg for him what oh segregation uh beer tastes so bland i cannot hold a candle to my excellent wine ah uh, forget beer and wine vodka from my hometown will put hair on your chest just one sip will blow your mind i have a small bottle stashed away i'll give you a taste sometime awesome buddy i had some in this bar up north one time the stuff's so strong it'll go up in just one spark Ooh. I hear some guys use it to make Molotov cocktails. There we go. Shh. Keep your dumb ass down. You want Bruce to hear you? Oh, man. So somebody's storing vodka and we can use that for Molotovs. Interesting. I wonder what the reasoning for some of them having question marks and some not. Here's Alex. Oh, he's part of that one gang they were talking about. He doesn't reply. Sharp Tooth Gang controls the prison's basketball court and TV room. He's the boss, Alex the Lion. You want something from the Sharp, uh, sharp Tooth Gang fish? Uh, oh, we could actually... Damn, we could join a gang in this game? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, learn about their quests. You want to do a job? That's what I like to hear. I just happen to have a few jobs for an outsider like you. But listen good. I hate to fail. So if you take a job, you better not mess up. Okay. Go to Bill the Buffalo Cell and deliver a mysterious bag. Plant it in Buffalo, Buffalo Bill's cell. Oh, God. Wow, we're getting started wonderfully. Let's see if we can get on the phone. Oh, also there's uh, what? We got to worry about food in this game, too? Digestion. Are you kidding me? This is a real-time prison escape, like, survival game. Like, why, why give me food if I need to... Like, why wouldn't we eat? You know, at, at like, at prison... T uh, at the canteen time... Wait, what is this? Guard surveillance. There are prison guards watching you here. Be smart and don't cause trouble. 
Uh, let's go find where what's his name is. Wait, is that? Oh, that's Bill right there. Wait, why do they want? Is this guy in the same gang? Hey, what are you calling me for? Let's be friends, Bill. Oh, what do you mean, hi? What are you looking for trouble? I'm just saying hi. What's the problem with that? What's the problem? The big problem. Are you new here? Saying how things work in the big house. Hey, all these things have their own meanings. Unless you want to beat and you better figure out it, it out before you open your mouth. Uh, I still don't get it. What's the difference between those words? Oh man, he's pissed. Did I just hear you? Did I? Did, did you just say um? Oh, now you really made me mad. I'll give you one last chance. Use the wrong word again and I'll have no chance. I forget it. I better not say anything. You've now befriended Bill the Buffalo. Oh, great. What a wonderful individual. Now, how, how do we know where he is? A101 to A208. Oh, here we go. Well, this is kind of suspicious. Just walking around looking at everybody's cells. Okay, we gotta find Bills. Reindeer is there. Alpaca named Diego. There he is. Is it this cell? I think so. Now what do I do exactly? Leather shoes? Epitome of style. Just like the ones the warden wears. Oh, is that a Shawshank reference? Okay, well we at least know where his cell is now. The terms are simple. Starting from today, if the Black Claw Gang wants to carry on moving product through the kitchen, the fee goes up by 50%. Come on, Frank. That's against the code. The fee was set when the territories were first were fist agreed. I think they mean first. You can't change it now. Ah, uh, there's a little reason for the increase. The truck driver who delivers the ingredients, old Ben, you know he's retired and his son has taken over. The kid's a pain in the ass and he wants to double he wants double every month. Surely you can't expect the Bigfoot gang to uh foot the bill. Hey now, that sounds like a problem you should be taking care of. Now how do I know you're not just making the whole thing up? I don't care if you believe me or not. The increase is non-negotiable. You tell Caesar that he ain't, if he ain't willing to pay, he can find a new way to move his product. Fine. I'll give him the message. Just wait for his answer. Wow. Finally a game that gives you so much time to figure out like what to do and like where to do it and who to talk to and stuff like that. That's awesome. I really think that's cool. Uh, where's our gang quest? Uh, well, the only quest we have now is to actually make a lockpick. Oh. Whatever, let's go see if that guy's finally off the phone. If he's not, I'm gonna go ahead and use the dice roll. Thank God, he's off the phone. Let's make a call then. Enter 1220 pound. Connecting. Hello, inmate 1220. You can make two more calls today. You'll be charged $10 per call and a $90 service charge will be added to your first call. I knew it wouldn't be that simple. Seems this place is more shady than I thought. We have 50 bucks. I need to find a way to get 100 bucks as soon as possible. And make some money. Well, there's plenty of people to talk to. But I think the best way is at least to get started with the uh, laundromat. Work in the laundry room. Submit application. Your application is approved. From now on, you'll be working in the laundry room. It's a great job, Fish. You'll love it. So how do I get there? Simple. You see this fence gate? Uh, go out from there before, the, uh, before lunch and a guard will take you to the workplace on the other side of the corridor. But don't try anything funny. The work area is watched by snipers on the tower. Wouldn't want to get your head blown off now, would you? Holy crap. Alright. So we got till noon to work in the laundry. You want to work inmate 1220? Yeah, my work request has been approved. Huh. 
you have a work permit? I can't find your health certificate for you here. You have to go to the infirmary for a physical. You have to pass before you can work. Do you understand? Yeah, I got it. I guess I have to go to the infirmary first. Where's that? Infirmary. You talking to me? Uh, let's be friends. Hello there. Keep it down, you'll scare them. Who? There's no one here. All the little elves. Can't you see them dancing on the tip of my nose? And the lobster knights climbing up on my legs? Oh, I get it. You're high as a kite. You're hallucinating. I? No, I'm Magical Chef. This is my psychic power. Oh, then I guess you're added to herbs and spices to your food, right? Most deaf. I put in some mushrooms and painkillers tasted out of this world. The effect clearly haven't uh, worn off yet. I'll leave him in his own little world for now. Teehee, little lobsters climbing, little elves laughing. You befriended Diego the alpaca. His rapport will help you. Bathroom isn't open yet. I have to wait till 1800. All right, we got to find the infirmary, pass a physical, and then somehow work in the laundry. These just lead to the prison wing, so maybe I can uh, go to the infirmary here. Okay. According to the regulations, all new inmates must go to the infirmary for a physical. Do you want to go now? Yes. The guard at the end of the corridor will escort you. Behave yourself. Here for a physical? Doc's in the consultation room. You can go and by yourself. Come to me in the corridor when you're done. Don't stay in there too long. Okay, I won't cause any trouble. Uh, Doc? Read the sign. Consultation room. Electronic lock. You need to know the code to open the door. Uh, what do I do? Fernando's working here. It looks like he's doing data entry or something. He's an assistant for the doc. What can I page? Oh, intercom. Perfect. Uh, it seems that even if you come to the infirmary, you can't just see the doctor whenever you want. Answers the intercom. Hi, how can I help you? I'm here for a physical. Oh, physical? Yep, come on in. I have some free time. You undergo a brief physical in the con consultation room. Hi, I'm Beth. From the records I see, this is your first time in the infirmary. I'm the doctor here. I'm responsible for all inmates, ailments, big and small. Every day I leave at 1730 sharp. I don't like overtime. I understand that. I wouldn't want to work in a prison at night either. If you get hurt during the night, the guard Bri Bran will administer your drip. He's not a doctor, but he has some medical training, so don't need to worry. Okay. Let's look at your test results. Well, first of all, congratulations. There's nothing major wrong with you. But considering this unsanitary conditions here, you can never be too cautious. I'll give you a vaccination to help protect against most of the infectious diseases here. Wait here, I'll get some from the infirmary. The hell, she's like a poodle. <laughs> Hilarious, dude. What should I do now? Uh, sit and wait or get up. Let's look around. Rubber gloves, broken lumber, tape. I don't know if I want to take everything. We might be searched on the way back. Uh, this isn't a good time to take what's on the tray. There might be some useful information in the computer. Desktop, such a mess. Success. There seems to be something in this folder. Check emails. Uh, it's an absolute mess. He's right. Okay, you can read that if you'd like. It seems patients can come into the infirmary regularly. OK, 
Okay. Oh, there's a drain. Drain looks pretty wide. Maybe it can be used to... Oh, but I guess... Oh, it's such a complex route, won't be available in the demo. Okay, so there might be a way to possibly escape through that drain. Well, boys, we have ourselves a secret. Are you ready for your shot? Give gift. Oh, do you want to give me something? Yes, I have this uh, demo paper crane. Would you like it? Plus 50. This is the most special gift I've ever received. I have something to say. <laughs> Declare your feelings to her. Small talk. Sure, if it'll help you relax. Do you know what the prison rules say? I'm not allowed to talk to inmates. So why are you talking to me? Oh, because I'm the only one in the examination room. Have you ever tried speaking to anyone f for a whole day? Sometimes I wonder who the real prisoner is. So why are you a prison doctor? Oh, I'm just a stupid girl trying to piss off her stupider father. Family trouble? Eh, let's leave it at that for now. Okay, here it goes. Get shot. Ah, yes. Uh, close your eyes if you're worried about the pain. After receiving a shot in the arm, you leave the consultation room. Plus five health. Awesome. Well, hopefully we can go work for an hour now. Sir, inmate 1220 requesting to return to general population. Right, now let's try to go work. Uh, now that your work permit and health certificate are in order, you can work. We gotta wor worry about those sniper towers. Uh, is this the laundry room? The washing machine is so loud. Let's see what work I can do. So it looks like they're washing all sorts of clothes here. Uniforms and things are being ironed and then probably put back into storage. And is somebody... What the hell are they doing? What is he doing? That doesn't look like laundry work. Unless he's manually washing things. Wait a minute, that's like a bunch of packs of like... Rugs and things. Is that... What is in there? What? Look at all that... What? Detergent mixing room? Yeah, my ass. I don't think so. The box is filled with jars. They say softener and water softener, but there's nothing else written on them. They're clearly the cheapest chemical ingredients. Detergent mixing room? Really? Is that a real thing? That just seems super suspicious. All right, well, we can, I guess, work here for a bit. But that's where I'm going to leave you all for today. Thank you very much for joining me for this very interesting prison simulator with a hell of a lot of detail to it, both in its relationships between you and other characters, uh, the gangs themselves, and, of course, possibility to uh, maybe bribe and do stuff with staff and then mm, escape. Yeah, seems so. Thank you guys for leaving a like on the way out. Don't forget to tell me what you think about the game down below in the comment section. I'm curious to know what you have to say or what you think or how you feel and what you like about these games or don't like. Hope to see you all very soon. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. It's, it's already my lunchtime, so I gotta go. Goodbye, buddy.